I'm so excited to meet you. Okay, it is currently October 18th. We are heading into the hospital now. We've got, we had a little bit of a wake up call on Friday. Um, I went in just like for like my routine, like checkups and stuff. And my doctor, I'm also filming this on my phone because my actual vlogging camera is packed in a suitcase in the back. Um, my doctor was like, yeah, like, um, you know, why haven't you like delivered yet? And I was like, I don't know, you tell me. And they were like, all right, like we're gonna like get you on an induction list. I was 38 weeks on Saturday. So today I'm 38 weeks and three days. So it's Tuesday and yeah. So we were put on the induction list on Friday. And like I said, now it's Tuesday. I'm so scatterbrained. So on Saturday we had uh, my best friend's rehearsal dinner. So we packed up the car because we hadn't heard yet. Um, like I said, we were waiting for a call. We thought we would get one Friday and we didn't. So on Saturday by like one o'clock, the rehearsal was like at three. We were like, all right, we just gotta pack up the car and go. And so we did, we didn't get a call, we went back home. And then on Sunday, the day of the wedding, we were like, all right, same thing, like everything's in the car, good to go. But thankfully, they never called, I guess thankfully, because then we get to go to the wedding, which is great. I was in the wedding and I looked like, I looked like a marshmallow, but that's okay. And then this morning I went in for more routine, like more routine tests just because I hadn't been induced yet. And again, my doctor comes in and is like, you haven't been induced yet. And he was like, okay, like, it's go time. So he called the hospital and was like, yeah, she's coming. She's coming and you're taking her in and it's happening. So he did like, I think he was trying to like, like strip my membranes, but I was only like not even a one yet. Like I was like half a centimeter dilated. So yeah, so probably going to be a lengthy process. Don't really know, but I mean like with inductions, I mean, it could be days or like it could be tonight. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so we're heading in now. We are gonna go, they don't have a bed or anything. So we're gonna just go chill and triage, I believe for a bit. And they're gonna put me on the monitor. And yeah, so I guess this is the beginning of our birth vlog and I'm doing this on my iPhone. Love that. I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous. <laughs> this has been like such a long nine months, right Carl? He's had it with me. <laughs> How many more kids do you want? <laughs> you want to focus on the road. <laughs> so we got to the ER and it's a good thing my doctor called because the ER was absolutely swamped, but we only waited five minutes and they took us right back here. Again, you guys are still on my phone because we don't have all our stuff. We just kind of have like my essentials because we figured once we get into like our actual room, we would like go in get it all um but yeah i'm nervous carl's like really relaxed i already started getting all anxious but so i'm down in the er right now and then to get induced from here there's another floor i would go to sounds like and then from there to labor and delivery and then from there recovery so we have a lot of stops along the way to meeting little girl so she's up on the monitor now Apparently she's performing well. Earlier she was not, which is kind of how we ended up here. So yeah. We have a room to get the induction started. Carl just got Mexican. I have saline in an IV. Yeah. Still iPhone footage. It is now like 8.45. Still haven't gotten anything yet, but the nurse did say that I was having contractions like every two to three minutes on my own, which is good because I had no idea that that was happening. Um, and yeah, so it was just like a shift change and everything. So we're waiting on the doctor and yeah, we're gonna get the party started. It's currently three, still on my iPhone because my camera is in my bag. And... Oh, he's awake. <laughs> still on my iPhone just because it's a little bit easier. Um, and yeah, we just got a balloon and some other medication and things are starting to happen, getting really crampy, but yeah. How you doing, dad? Mm -hmm. I said, how you doing? All right. He's been getting, he's been in and out of sleep. So 
switching gears here on the DJI. You might hear baby girl. Dad, how you doing? Alright. So, like, it was really early this morning. And so last night, I don't know how much I talked about it, but I was contracting, like, on my own, like, naturally before anything, um, really consistently. And then at 2 o'clock this morning, they gave me two different forms of like induction like one being the balloon one being a medication and yeah that sped things up really quickly um so i went for like three or four hours and dilated quite a bit and then i was like i waved the white flag and they offered me something for the pain and i got like the baby the smallest dose so it didn't really give me all that much relief. I can still feel my contractions, and it's also been late, so it's 11 o'clock now, and I got the medicine at 7. So it's been four hours since I had that baby dose. I probably could ask for more, but I haven't yet. All that the medicine really did was just, because, like, your contraction is kind of like a bell curve, so I just kind of feel, like, the worst of the contraction, like, at the top. And, yeah, but the benefit, I think, is that it kind of made me really sleepy, so I was able to just kind of sleep for like an hour not to brag my nurses have all been super lovely in fact this morning i was even actually like bouncing i'll show you guys i got my little ball like i was bouncing on that ball for like relief don't mind the hands it's officially dry hand season but i was bouncing on my little ball and to try and get some relief and i was like yeah in fact i gotta go i feel one now it's coming on mm -hmm. how you doing my water broke about 30 minutes ago and I was already like contracting since like 2 a.m. Um, painfully but now this is full on so we're waiting to wait for the doctor to come in hopefully we can get a room and labor and delivery and get the epidural <sighs> And we've had an epidural. <laughs> that was rough. And in the end, I thought I was gonna be sick. And honestly, thankfully, I, um, after going through the contractions for like two hours after my water broke, I told my nurse, I was like, I can't do this anymore. So they got me up in the labor and delivery <sighs> unit. They got a bed for me. And by the time I got down here, within 15 minutes, they had the epidural done. These people are built different. <laughs> they work very fast. So, yeah. Having contractions right now, don't feel them. Well, a couple of them I have, but yeah. Also, iPhone footage because Carl just went downstairs. Oh, look. Her little, her little crib. I'm so excited to meet you. So, it is now Friday night at 8 o'clock, so we might be getting discharged soon, might be able to go home, we want to go home, um, so we'll see, hopefully we don't have to stay an extra night, um, yeah. The reason why there would be concern to stay the extra night is because during labor, which I broke a fever, so they just wanted to make sure that she was good, and yeah. So, but it sounds like, it sounds like we're going home, and I'm excited. Also, my parents, they picked up Dex this morning. He's been, like, at our house, and people have been stopping by, playing with him, and giving him food and water and stuff, but, so, it was perfect. Um, but yeah, so today my dad actually took him to my parents' house, and he's been playing with their dogs all day, having a grand old time, call it puppy vacation. Um, but I think my mom, depending on what time we get out of here, my mom might come by too. And then she can take Dex with her, and then they can meet. I'm so excited for Dexter to meet you. <gasps> Kenny girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Zero, zero, Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.
Kathleen Kenny girl in the back. Our Uber driver driving us. <laughs> All right. Dexter. Okay. 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 All right, honey. Uh, Who's that? Who's that? Is that your sister? Is that your sister? Gentle. Is that your sister? Who is that? Don't put him there. He's fine. He's fine. He wants to see you. Smell everything. Oh my goodness. Is that your sister? <laughs> Mm-hmm. 